Hello everyone, it's Dr. Kerbal here, and today I have an SSTO. Yes, this is an airplane that can go to space, and not just any sort of airplane or SSTO. It can go to Minimus. Yes, it can go to Minimus. Now we're just going to take off the runway here. Nothing too special. Just going down the runway. Jeb, Jebediah Kerman, and Bill Kerman are our crew today for this two-seater SSTO to Minimus. We just have two rapier engines and one nuclear engine. It's nothing special. It's actually easy to fly, but yeah, you might want to start over and make some quick saves just in case you know things go a little wrong. I mean, this thing is prone to crack attacks still, like everything can be. But yes, be careful with this craft when you're flying it. So now that we're just going up, I'm trying to get a nice thumbnail. Not sure if I'll use this. I'll let you know. Actually, you probably already know. Uh, anyways, we're just we're just going up. Give me our pitch up around five to thirty degrees. Oh no, we just want to go up for now. I know other KSP YouTubers try to gain velocity, but I can get the velocity part just fine. It's just I can't get the height. I can get a velocity just fine. So I'm just keeping this angle of attack up. See those? We're going quite fast. Nothing has burned up yet. And now, we're turning the rapier on. And the rapiers are in uh, rocket mode, and we have the nuclear engine on. Sorry about that. I got my words all jumbled up. See how we're still in the atmosphere? And we're still going up, which is good progress. I'm here getting a nice thumbnail. Not sure about you, this one either, but you'll probably know by the middle of this video. Anyways, I want to try to create less drag as possible so we don't lower our apoplapses because we want to make we want to get into an orbit, not a go up and down. So, our orbital insertion burn will be at periapsis, which is below the atmosphere, so we can raise our periapsis above the atmosphere and then burn at that apoplapsis so we can raise our periapsis over the atmosphere. I'm sorry if that didn't make sense, but I th I'm pretty sure the video will explain everything. Sorry if my mic's awful. They're not the best of tech yet. Anyways, we're just time warping, because we can't go over four times, because we're still in the atmosphere technically. We're actually just by the border. Like, there's no air drag up here, really. Okay, there's a little bit, but not so much. So we're just time warping to raise our uh, apoapsis so we can use, raise our periapsis and we'll do our new apoapsis. That did not make sense, did it? No, it did not. The camera's a little wonky here. Sorry for my bad recording. I know I could probably redo this, but I'm too lazy. Oh, I'm not sure why I said that. Anyways, we're just doing little puffs just to keep our apoapsis over over the atmosphere, over 70 kilometers of those curtains, sea level. Anyways, I'm just spinning around, playing with the buttons a bit. This isn't my first time playing a KSP, but I'm just bored, so. So now we're in space, we can just warp to Apoapsis. I'm trying to get a nice thumbnail, maybe not. I, I think I'm trying to get a thumbnail on this one. But anyways, we're at our Apoapsis, so we're burning to raise our periapsis. Okay, we raised our periopsis into our apoplops, and our apoplops just went higher. Anyways, we're going to do our burn for minutes. I wouldn't use this as a tutorial, but if you would like a tutorial, I check out Matt Lau, Scott Manley, any of those other guys, but whatever. I'm just saving here, so I don't want to lose all that nice progress I have in case of a crash or crack attack. Anyways, we're just time working around the planet, doing our burn. We're three minutes over the burn. It's kind of too late, so I decide eh, I'll do the burn on the next or on the next time I come around to the maneuvers. So I burn, but then that marker goes up, so it's kind of annoying. So I just leave it be, and make another maneuver, time warp around the time warp, orbit the planet again. Not a biggie. And so we're going to time warp. Yes, we're just time warping around the planet. 
I like the way I made this craft, like this SSTL. I think it, I think it came out nice. It flies well. It looks pretty neat. I don't know what do you, what do you think about this craft? Let me know down in the comments. And why not while you're down there, please subscribe. Ah, oh, yeah, just please, please subscribe. It help a lot. But anyways, enough with the subscribe blabbering on. Let's get back to the video. Now we're just raising our apple apses so we can intercept and or encounter minions. Now, playing. With I went a little bit too far, so I did do a little puffs here. There, there we go. Go ahead, minimus. Now we're not exactly close to minimus for a min for a good minimus orbit, so I'm adjusting our orbit, making another maneuver, just a correction burn, so we get nice and close to minimus. Looks like here we did. So we can just make another minute. So, oh, I'm trying to get back on the craft. But anyways, we're going to time warp all the way up to minimus. It's easy. We're going to do a burn. Nice. I actually did on that one on the spot. That's nice. Well, I'm saving my game so I don't lose all the progress again. I'm pretty sure that's understandable. And I go up, up, up. Reach our apple apses. Intersecting Minmus soon. Oh, there's Minmus. Nice to see. And then. I'm just gonna time warp all the way down to Minmus. Periaps to periapsis around Minmus. And so I'm just gonna do a retro rate burn. It's it's not so expensive. It's doable. We're gonna be doing it quite soon. There we go. So I'm gonna be doing a Minmus lighting right away. Skip the orb bar and But if you guys I don't wanna land on the dark side because I can't see anything. So I raise my apple apses a bit. So it's close and the periapsis. I see it again, obvious enough. And then I just time up around the plant, around the small minty moon of Minmus, and I spot this plateau. And I I burn right here because I want to see a bit of extra fuel because I'm not sure if I have enough fuel to get back to Kerbin or to land. Or just to get back. It's I just want to make sure Jen and Bill make home, get home safely. So now we're just landing. We're landing on the slope here. I did not expect that. I thought I was going to land on the plateau. But whatever. The nuclear engine has enough using the rapiers. And we'll land soon. We're just 161 meters above the surface. Minimus. I burn a little too much. I want to be safe though. Yet I'm using precious fuel. So we're landing. 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 There we go. Touchdown. And I'm using the reaction wheel so we don't crash. Or so we don't flip over. That'd be awful. And then I do the brakes. Now the brakes, because they're at 50%, so I put it all the way up by 200%. So we make sure we stop and don't. And then now I make quick safe so I don't. Anyway, Jeb did his EVA. Did him plant a flag. I don't know how to use EVA. I know how to go left, right, and forward, back. I don't know how to go up and down though. Oh, we hit the ground a little bit too hard. Just kind of sad. Uh, and then I think I just let him roll for a bit. I'm like, what? And then I just let him go up. And then I saw the RCS. I still don't know how to get him up or down though. I'll probably have to read some of the controls from the KVPDO, but enough with that. I plant my flag. And then we name the site. Um, we name SSTO landing on Minimus. Or what? Well, we're playing two more flags, and I'll explain. Well, during our takeoff, we had some. Oh, here I'm reading the KSV. You know how to use RCS controllers, TVA packs, but eh, whatever. Anyways, I jump up. I use the RCA packs to make sure I land so I can so Jeb can grab on the ladder. Bill didn't decide to come out. That's actually I just didn't take out Bill. But for fictional purposes, Bill didn't want to come out. So now we can take off from Minmus. But you'll realize this takeoff ends poorly. Yes. 
This is why. This craft is unstable, and so we hit the wings. We didn't revert flight, but we reverted it back to a quick save. Because it's really hard to land in SSTO if you don't have wings. So here, now we have to plant the flag again. This is second attempt. This is kind of getting repetitive. I think the video can explain from now on here. There go. And hello, I'm back everyone. I probably could have cut those parts out, but this is, I think, the last attempt we go out. And we actually succeed to go and leave Minmus this time. I know. People usually think, oh, it's easy to leave Minmus. Well, it took me three attempts. This is my third attempt. I got kind of bored. We landed an SSD on Minmus. Maybe this isn't the... I don't know. I'm being really lazy. But anyways... We're going to. Jim's gonna go back on the craft. Third attempt. We're going to leave Minimus. I, oh yeah, I saved the game because I'm worried. But I think this is the attempt. And I turn off the brakes. I use the reaction wheel to pitch down. I think. I don't go too fast. So. So we go up, up, up. I did burn. And then I use those rapiers to gain enough, gain enough velocity. See, it's going quite well. Now we're in a minimus orbit. It says but we're gonna, we're gonna leave right away and get to Kerbin's atmosphere. Now here, rendering Kerbin's atmosphere did not go so well. I'll explain why later on when we get down to Kerbin's atmosphere. But here we're just setting a maneuver so we can return back to Kerbin. We're just turning. We're just going up. Yo, I caught in a thumbnail. Sorry for that cut. It was a mistake there, but hey, we're leaving Minimus now, so that's nice. We're burning. Stop. Doing little puffs to make our maneuver precise. And make sure we're on the dot. Now here, I forgot to do something. Well, time warp from Minimus, and this will explain everything. I was gonna arrow break at 60, but I didn't know my periapsis was at 19. Yes. I'm showing all my failures. I'm proud of them. So, here, so this is an example on how not to fly this SSTO. You wanna create as much drag as possible, you wanna roll a lot, you wanna make sure all the heat is distributed. Here you'll see it'll explode. The parts will explode due to overheating. So there we go. And obviously we can't fly with that. So I'm revert back to my latest quick save. Here we're in space or minimus again. So I check my periapsis and see oh 13, not 19. That's even worse. But I check my periapsis, raise it up to 60 or 66, whatever. And so I just time warp. Oh, I make another save, just to be careful. And then... I oh yeah, we time warp back down. Okay, now we're re-entering Kerbin's atmosphere at 3,000. 3 kilometers an hour. Per second, I mean, sorry. 3,000 meters per second. We're arrow breaking through the atmosphere. It didn't do much, but it did some effect. That was good. And we time warp around the planet, Kerbin. And here we get a cheeky mun assist. That mun assist did not help. And then, yeah, we're gonna hit the surface. So, I resume the flight, hoping that I can land at the desert airfield. But you'll see, I don't have enough fuel 
to land at a desert airfield. It's quite far. I didn't land either because they're mountainous terrain. And this craft is not good for making unexpected pitches. Right now it's stalling. It's not the best. It takes a while to gain control of it once it's flipping out of control and stalling in the air. So, here I try to land this thing. Just that it's too out of control. I enter the atmosphere kind of wrong. And this did not go well. I guess I could have landed on that mountainous plateau. But here, I just kind of give up. Then I think I load a save. Wait. Ah, so now we're back at the quick save screen. We're just loading another quick save. We're going to be raising our, my... I'm going to raise my apoapsis again. So I tried to land at the Kerbal Space Center. This is the... I tried landing at the Kerbal Space Center, but then you'll see that didn't work so well. Due to our correction burns, we did not have enough fuel to do so. And here... Yeah, we're in the atmosphere already. So there's the Kerbal Space Center. I'm like, whoa, I tried to stop there right away. And that did not go so well. I missed the Kerbal Space Center too much. And here I wasted all my fuel. And we only have 785 meters per second left. Now I tried getting... To, I tried going to the Kerbal Space Center. But... And getting my inclination right. But it wouldn't work because I didn't have enough fuel. And I needed to land with the rate beers on. In case it was stall. In case the plane was stalling. So I just time worked around hoping I get the Kerbal Space Center. But... My attempts and persistence did not work this time, which is fine. We'll have an alternative, and for the safety of Jebediah and Bill, we won't land at the Cold Space Center. Instead, we'll be entering the atmosphere quite rough. They say, why would that be safe? Well, that's not safe. This is just how the predicaments went. Cur we can't land at the Cold Space Center. I burned the nuclear to gain uh, altitude, but that did not work. It's hopeless. When we start entering the atmosphere, the barge could have blown away or blew up. So I started spinning really fast. This is called a barbecue rule when you enter the atmosphere, or in KSP, that's what they call it. And so when you enter the atmosphere, the heat spreads all around the craft. You're barbecuing the thing, so all the parts equally get the same amount of heat. So one part doesn't just explode and get all the heat. But all this craft to come in one piece, not a thousand. So, I'm trying to gain control of the craft, as you may see, I did. I'm trying to create enough drag so we don't overheat. And Jebediah and Bill are safe. We enter Kerbin's atmosphere safe. Now, the rapier engines, they didn't do much. I think I've, oh, maybe this isn't my last attempt on all speed. And I gave up because Kerbal Space Center was too far. Didn't have any fuel. So we're back. And so now I'm just gonna land this thing. I don't. I don't care anymore. I'm just gonna land it. Skip the Kerbal Space Center. I'm just gonna land this craft and make sure Bill and Bob get home safe. Now we aren't entering the atmosphere as this fast, but I think it's fine. Anyways, we're entering the atmosphere. Nothing extraordinary is happening yet. And we just went through the atmosphere. I guess there's not enough air to slow us down or cause much air resistance or heat, so it should be fine. So we're just gonna tower back up the surface. Or oh, do I just burn rest? Oh yeah, I try to aim for the desert runway. Or the desert complex. You know that in uh, Making History, there's or Breaking Ground, there's a desert runway or launch. I'll try to land there. But you'll see, that did not go so well. And here I landed this kind of marshland looking place with lots of little lakes and puddles everywhere. So I'm not just twisting the atmosphere just to make sure I don't get, I don't overheat. Yeah, that didn't, yeah, look at that. It's twisting all over the place. Now, this time it wasn't so bad. I mean, yeah, maybe those heat bars kept showing up all over the craft, but I think it was fine for the majority. I'm trying to gain control of the aircraft by turning on the engines. Didn't work so well. 
try to create a drag to slow down. And I see I land in this marshish looking area. There's a lot of puddles, so eh. I couldn't land at the desert place because too far, didn't have enough fuel. And plus, I think Jeb and Bob, I mean, they were in this craft for over a month. Oh, for about a month. 23 days, okay? I'm just gonna let them land here so they don't have to go through any more pain. Well, I mean, sitting in that chair is a long time. Anyways, we're trying to gain velocity so it can land. I'm trying to create horizontal velocity because the wheels, you can, the vertical velocity gets them when you land and the horizontal velocity does not. As you may see, those wings almost blew up. Thank goodness they did not. So now we're just gonna land. I create a bunch of quick saves here because I worked so hard for this. I don't want to miss it. So, I was afraid to hit this, like, puddle here. That giant... I guess that'd be cool to land by the puddle, but... That wasn't coming across my mind when I was recording this video. I was auto strain the heaviest part just so those wings wouldn't fly off. I thought that was a good idea. So now here, it looks like we're gonna hit the land, but no, we don't. And we create enough vertical velocity to land. I should turn the craft here because I do not want to hit the puddle or hit those hills because it might damage the craft, resulting in explosions. But to be honest, this is KSB. I guess explosions are a thing. So now we're just landing, landing, landing. And look, it looks nice. This is from Jeb's view. Nice lake. Nice area. And then... We're just gonna land. Create enough vertical velocity to beat the horizontal... No, no. Horizontal velocity. So, we don't land so vertically. We want to land horizontally. It's an airplane. And it will, and if we land vertically, like smack right in the ground, it won't go so well. So now we're just gonna land. 80 meters per second is fine. It, it's vertical. We don't want to go down. We want to go sideways, horizontal, because that's what gets the wheels the vertical velocity. So now we're just gonna land, pitching up, so we can hit the back wheels first. And we're about to touch down. Uh 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 uh. Touchdown! Yay! After 23 days, multiple attempts, Jeb and Bill have finally got home. This is Jeb's view. I'm pushing the craft so I can push it on top of the hill so I realize I don't have the brakes on. So Jeb and Bill made it back. Congratulations, Jeb and Bill. Welcome back to Turban. You may not be at the Kerbal Space Center, but eh. Welcome back. Nice to see that these two Kerbals have survived 23 days in this plane. Again, Jeb's view, Bob's view, Jeb. Anyways, we're back. Landed. I'll make a quick save here in a moment. Yeah, there we go. Save. And then, I use the engines to push all the way up to this hill. Because, why not? This is a proud moment to share. Jeb and Bill earned it. They should be at the top of the world. This may not be the top because I'm curving, but it's close enough. We're just gonna go up. Oh wait, we stopped. Just gonna push a little further. Because, I mean, damn. Jeb, Bill, Jeb and Bill. I'm not sure what bought him. But Jeb, Bill earned it. This is almost the end of the video, and I'm just messing around with the buttons, features, saving the game. I don't want to lose all my progress. So we just landed here. Yeah, this is pretty much the end of the mission. I'm just now messing around. Not sure what's on to talk about. I guess I'll leave the commentary once this video ends or when I feel like it. Chef's view, Bill's view, Bill's view again. I mean, they earned it. We zoom out. This is curving, right? Yeah, it's definitely curved. We move around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, this is the end of the video. I think. 
landed in SSTO. Not too bad. And yeah, there'll be some cards up. Ones recommended by me in my most recent video. Ones recommended by YouTube. I hope you enjoy. Bye.